So today we have something cool going on. Yes, we are gonna go see the city of Romeo and Juliet. Ah, uh, the city of romance. The beautiful Verona, Italy. Follow yes. us. All right, let's go. Good morning, everyone. We made it to Verona, the beautiful city of Verona, Italy. And we are in front of the most iconic play, uh, place in the city, the arena. This was the Roman amphitheater. It was built in the first century um, after Christ. And um, it had a capacity of 30,000 people back then. Nowadays, it's still perfectly preserved. And the acoustic inside is so good that it's used widely every, every summer for operas and concerts. So it's a beautiful piece of art still there since Roman time. And now we have to see Giulietta's balcony. Follow me. If you are thirsty in Verona and if you wonder if you can drink the water, this fountain is here for this reason. Look at this. Mmm, delicious. So we're going to join this house here. Uh, look, the land is pretty brutal, so we might not be able to get in. So let's take a look. So we decided to do the House of Romeo and Juliet anyways and wait in line for a little bit and try to show you. Here you are in front of Romeo and Juliet's balcony. According to the legend, that was the balcony of Juliet when she was like praying to Romeo that was standing down here. And if you rub the breast of the statue of Juliet, apparently it's good luck. Let's go do that. So we are here on the Romeo and Juliet balcony, me and my friend Hannah. Look at this. Hi. This is Piazza delle Erbe, this is the main piazza in Verona. It used to be the Roman Forum during the Roman time. There you can see the Torre di Lamberti, which is the highest tower in Verona. Uh, back then there were four towers around the palazzo over there, now there's only one remaining. And now you're gonna see the fountains, follow me. Well, folks, we are still in the Piazza delle Erbe, and this is uh, the fountain of the Madonna of Verona. That's how it's called. In reality, this statue is re repurposed from a Roman statue of the third century. It's truffle season. What did I get? Fettuccine with truffles. Let's see how it is. Delicious. Cheers. So I made the mistake of ordering a half a bottle of wine because at this restaurant they have it on tap, like the beer. 
So it's there. This is a real glass of wine. I'm very happy to be drinking this one. Well, folks, we had a great lunch here at Taverna di Castella, and now we're gonna go to see the Roman Bridge. Let's follow us. At Fox Bridge Piazza dei Signori, this was the political center of Verona. This was the palace of City Hall, where the leader of Verona used to meet. And that portico was built in the 1400 and where the town council used to meet. We reached the Scaliger tombs. These are Gothic tombs of the leader of Verona in the 12th century. And they're in the Gothic uh, style, as you can see. They're pretty cool, huh? Never we saw Juliet's house earlier. This is Romeo's house, not very far away. Well, folks, we reached the old Roman bridge. That bridge is called Ponte in Pietra, it was like a stone bridge and was built by the Romans and was on the old road that connected Genova to Aquileia, the Via Postumia was called. So that's the bridge and is still standing since Roman time. On the other side of the river Adige you can see the Roman theater over there, they're still using it today for concerts and on top is the castle or the new castle. Inside the cathedral complex, you can visit the baptistry, the ancient church of Sant'Elena, built on top of a previous Roman church, and the beautiful cathedral itself. Well, folks, we reached Porta Borsari. This was the old Roman gate to access the old city of Verona in Roman time and was built on the Via Postumia, the old road I was telling you about that was connecting Genova to Aquileia. Well, folks, we reached Arco dei Gavi. This was an arch built by a very important family in Roman time, the Gavi family, and was um, still perfectly preserved since Roman time. And next to it, we have the old castle, Castel Vecchio, a perfect medieval castle with still a moth and drawbridge. Look at this. This is the old castle in Verona, Castel Vecchio. This was built by the Scala family in Verona. It was the Lord of Verona and it was a big fortress during medieval time. And on the other side is a bridge. It was the bridge of Castel Vecchio we're going to see in, uh, next. And that bridge was built 
for the land, landlord of Verona to escape in case of the riots. Let's go take a look. Well, folks, this is the Castel Vecchio bridge the bridge I was telling you about was built from the landlord of Verona to escape in Casa Riot. Unfortunately, this is not the original bridge because the Germans, when they were retreating from Verona in 1945, they bombed the bridge and then destroyed it. So after World War II in 1947, the bridge was reconstructed, looking exactly the same as the old one. Well, folks, we are back to the Roman Arena, and this concludes our tour of Verona. We hope you liked it, and if you did, please subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and the little bell, and you never miss a video. See you guys.